Well, hello guys, welcome to episode of Total Fishman 6502. You join me on the banks, my syndicate. Um, I think this is episode 10 now. Um, I haven't done an episode in a while. This is first one of the year, so uh, hello guys. Um, how's it going? Uh, we're in the board swim today. I've only just got here, well, set up, fully set up. Uh, we came after college, so uh, I finished college at half one because I had two exams, so I finished a bit earlier. And uh, we came straight to the syndicate and took about an hour drive, so just got set up and now it's about half six now, I think. Yeah, about yeah half six, well, 6.38, so not far off. Um, not much to say apart from uh, when we first got here, all the fish were in front of us. Well, the boards I'm in and my granddad's just left me in the life boy swim and there were fish crashing out all over here, uh, in front of us here. About at about 60, 70 yard, so a comfortable distance. Um, got them all clipped up at that with the sticks. I think it was 12 and a half, 13 and a half wraps. Yeah, 13 and a half wraps. Uh, so yeah, clip the spod to that as well. Uh, we've got a new boiler rocket. That I've been trying out today, which is absolutely excellent. Very good buy. As you can tell, we've got a very net decent and breeze from coming over. Right to left. It's swooped round a bit now, like, so it's in my face. But it's still pushing down that end of the lake. Uh, surprisingly, there's no one up that end of the lake. Um, apparently, yesterday there was. Uh, today they've left. There's someone over in the little point. Like I said, my granddad's in the life boy. There's him over in the horseshoe over there. Um, there's Paul the Bailiff, which is in the Willow over there. Um, I don't know if there's anyone in Daffodils, but there's someone in Pylon Swim in Corner, and there's a guy in Roadside. Um, the guy in Roadside's been speaking to me, and he had help. Um, but while he was talking to me, like as I said, there were fish showing in front of me. I've seen about four or five shows, so uh, yeah, that's good news. At least they're moving. Um, yeah. At least we've got them in front of us as well, because uh, people say that you don't, you're not, you're not going to catch them if they're not in front of you. Uh, it's, it's a big lake and they've got plenty of room to swim about, so it's good news that we've seen a few in front of us. Um, yeah, I've heard that they're coming out on the other lake as well. Uh, I've heard of two thirties that have been caught today. Um, so yeah, that's all right. <laughs> I think um, my curry's calling me though. I have to say. I fished a few times since you last um, seen me on the bank. Um, I think I've had about three, four sessions this season. Um, I haven't done much, uh, but my uh, granddad's had a 28.8 common. And it was a two-tone common out of here, and that was an absolute beast. And he got that from Left Outlet a few weeks back when I was in roadside up there. Uh, I went and photographed it at half five in the morning. Uh, yeah, that was a lovely fish, that. I'm uh, yet to um, get over my 126. Uh, I, have, I have, as you can see, that tree has fallen down. And we was fishing when that happened. Um, there were it was 50 mile an hour winds that night, um, so we thought, oh, we can stand that. Got Bivvy's back set up, it got to about 12 o'clock at night, I think, and I just woke up and, and Broly, rip, and uh, yeah, there were 50 mile an hour gust forecast, and uh, it ended up being 85 mile an hour gusts, and yeah, the tree came down. My granddad were in the big point, and I went little point. And uh, yeah, it's not fish fun fishing in 85 mile an hour winds. <laughs> um, but yeah, that session uh, we both lost one before the winds came um, because they were coming out because it had just gone from cold to warm, and that spells when they switch on in here or wherever you're fishing. Um, it's always a good time to catch them, like coming from winter into summer. 
and uh, yeah, I lost one. Lost one that night. Uh, got, I got it right into the edge again, and I gave it a bit of jip to get out, get out at Reed, and up pulled. Um, so yeah, I'm getting beaten at the minute. Hmm. Pretty confident today though, uh, I do have to say, <laughs> as I say, I've seen fish in front of me, um, and not just a few either, like there were about four or five shows, like I said, all in front of me, uh, comfortable casting distance, um, so I've got about a kilo and a half of boilers out there mixed, different boilers, different sizes, mm. so yeah, we'll just have to give it a good try. Um, like I said, not bad weather for it either. Uh, it's not that cold. The day is, I think it's the 29th of April. So, uh, it hasn't come into summer months yet, and as you can see, the weed hasn't come up yet. Touch wood. Um, so, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem bringing them in. Like I said, I've got, well, I've got these to my right, and that to my left, but that there, pretty decent distance. I'm knackered if one cart's around this corner, though. Dinner time for today. We've got um, Marks and Spencer's chicken curry with rice, which is just being put on the hob. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to absolutely destroy that. Not much to report on the fish in front. Um, I haven't seen a fish for a while now, but um, I have been boiler rocketing boilers out, so uh, that might have put them down a bit. Um, yeah, I'm happy with rods and where they're positioned. Um, only thing I'm not happy with is that middle rod because I forgot to clip it up when I were on the distance sticks and it bloody sailed out. Bloody great. And you can see it tip marker, so that's correct, like, but. The way it went in, it'll be completely tangled. Um, you know, when it doesn't hit clip and it just clatters in. You're just like, oh man. But it's an inch different, so I've just left it. Because uh, I could have dropped it in front of a fish's face. Um, you never know. So uh, I'm leaving them all out till I've had my curry. And then I'll have, I'll have my curry. Rebate all the rods. Get up. Get a PVA bag on and that. And rechuck them for night shift. Uh, I'm pretty confident for the night shift to be honest uh, for one of us to get a bite at least because um, yeah they have been showing in front of us uh, definitely I mean uh, I saw one show about three times in about ten seconds so uh, yeah at least they're moving we're in with a chance he's just been spotting some bait out so I think he thinks we're in with a chance and all. As you can see, guys, it's just coming dusk. Uh, the time is um, 8.58. So, yeah, the sun's just going down. Uh, you can see the moon up there. And the sun in the background. Uh, while I were eating my curry, um, just on that, uh, I seen two fish show, one of them my left hand rod which were a lump and uh, about 50 yard of it spot. So um, that was while I was eating my food, so that was about half an hour ago, I'd say. Um, but it's good, that, because it shows that the fish are still up and over the area and they haven't been spooked by my um, boiler rocket there. Uh, my granddad hadn't seen one for a while, but at least, at least we know they're still in front of me anyway. And I've seen them to my left anyway, so I know they're in front of him. So it looks like we're in a good chance for a bite. 
tonight. Um, if it doesn't get too cold, the uh, forecast is for lowest five. So uh, yeah, we'll have to see what kicks off. But there's no clouds, so it looks like it's going to be a cold hunt. And uh, yeah, I mean, my jack pipe skins on and uh, a few jackets. Yeah, it's getting a bit chilly. So uh, yeah. One's just hiked out there. I don't know how far was that off you. Ten yard in. That were a good fish that I heard. It's, that were a very that were a lump that. Just here off these reeds. That's excellent news. I've never I've never seen them so close. Apart from when I was mixer fishing around the other side like. But that's closest I've seen one. Hmm, that's excellent news. So like I said, at least it's still in front of us anyway, so uh, we're in with the shot. Uh, yeah, I've uh, recast all my rods, uh, I've made short rigs and that are alright, I've redumped baits. So yeah, all I can do now is uh, have a beer, watch a bit of Bear grills, and uh, chillax. Um, got about a kilogram and a half of boilers out there, and no else, I ain't spawned spawn her out. So uh, I'm just going for boilers. Uh, I've got a solid bag on one rod, so that's putting like a ground baiting mix out but that's about that's all I'm putting out particles wise. Um, I think it's best spawning when I'm when you come in for a few days to give them time to come over your spotlight. Uh, so well, that's what we've found anyway. Uh, I mean sometimes you can come spawn and you can just drop on them but mm, some people say if they're in front of you and you spawn then they piss off really. Uh, so I've kept it Disturbance to a minimum, use that boiler rocket there, uh, which barely makes a, a flutter on the surface when you feather it. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed tonight, you should have a fish on the bank for you. If not, see you in the morning. Oh, good morning guys. Time is 9.39. Um, nothing through the night. My granddad's just been to see me and he's done the same. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, um, we might have frightened them by spawning. Well, bait rocketing, but... When I bait rocketed, I've seen fish still showing after I did it, so... Hmm. God knows. No idea what's happening. All I know is I can't catch one. <laughs> Got an excellent night's sleep. A little bit. Of, oh. He's gone for a pile on swim. He's still in little point and he's still in the water. Mm. I think it's time. Uh, excuse me. For first coffee. Well guys, nothing to report, uh, it's been very slow, a guy got in the left outlet which is up there, um, he got here fishing for 4 hours and uh, my granddad's photographed another 30, I think it were 
32 and it were a common and uh, yeah and that were on the same bait as we're using so uh, that's good news um, at least we know the bait's catching uh, hmm so I don't know why we aren't uh, whether it's because the fish were in front of us last night and we started spamming uh, bait rocketing and we might have spooked them off a bit because they have been put pushed right over there the only fish I've seen show have been over the other side uh, or toward him and on this side um, like they were yesterday so they have moved further out and I um, think that's why I haven't had anything but I'm not too sure you can see them dirty rain clouds coming but at the minute it's nice and sunny clear skies and it's pretty warm I have to say so yeah it's a shame we ain't caught out but we've got rest of the season left yet uh, we've got about 8 kilograms of us baiting already this season so uh, yeah they should have had some of that down them and without hooks in them so uh, that's all good news so yeah I'll see you in the next episode well guys welcome to the episode of Total Fisherman 6502 uh, you got me on the banks of my syndicate as you can see I'm fishing uh, today uh, I'm in the little point and my granddad's in the big point just to the left and uh, we've got fish in front of us uh, well I have anyway uh, they started off showing out towards the lifeboat over there well lifeboat sorry and uh, I've got two rods over there on a bar at 87 yard uh, that's the left and middle and then I've got one and that's with a sp spawn full of hemp and boilies spreader boilies with throwing stick as well and then the right hand rod is uh, just cast out toward that pile and just completely out of the way over no bait but the fish, all the carp are showing over there now and there's been a few lumps out toward that way Let's see if we can video any for you and that's uh, on a hinge stiff rig that one cast toward the pylon uh, they're showing oh, they're showing all up there as well I've seen them up there but the majority of the fish have been up there and it, there you go if you've just seen that Well, that didn't take long guys. Now then guys, how about that? Just just on that rod towards the pylon, like I said. You can just see a little pink pop up hanging out of its mouth. Let's have a look at her. There you go. A lovely dark mountain common. Excellent stuff. So my granddad's just off to get scales now. He's coming back now. And uh, we'll give it away and show you it on the mat. I'm absolutely over the moon. Yeah. Don't 
20 that. <laughs> right. Might not be as big a shoulder one. It's alright, we'll keep him there. Watch out on the cord. That's a ray up all that. Look at that. Good lad. I can't get it out. Shall I do it? Got it. That one nailed. Yep, go on, I'll sit it for you. Right, right. That's laid right away. Right, let's get it in this. I've zeroed sling. Yep. So let me get it. I know it. Let's have a look. Go on. What is it? It is 16 pound 16 two. 16 two. But it's a fish. Let me make sure I had it all off. Well, guys, right. just submit. Man. Get one. Just off the right hand road toward that pylon where I said I saw him shouting. And it hadn't took long for me to get this beauty. 16 pound two. Lovely bar of gold. Absolutely cracking fish, put up an absolute amazing fight. On the pink pop up. So, yeah, we'll get a few pictures of him and we'll slip him back. I'm absolutely over the moon. I'll just show you the other side very quickly. There's the other side. And I am absolutely chuffed to say the least. Let's get a few pictures and put it back. As you can see guys, dinner's on and tonight I've got a beef madras to smash off. Uh, good news that they're still showing out in front of me to, toward that pylon again. Uh, both left and right side of the pylon they're showing. I've seen a few over this side but not many over that spotted area yet. But the wind's going that way anyway so if they do end up going a bit down the lake they should find that spotted area quite quick, quickly. Um, I've scattered a few boilers out toward that rod. I haven't put many out because uh, obviously the seagulls get them and, that, and you have to stop when they come. 
but uh, tonight when they go in, uh, I should put about 50 boilers over that rod, scattered about because it's inch stiff rig, because uh, they are literally all over that spot and uh, it'd be alright to hold them there, because like I said I got that just casting over there with a pop up, uh, no bait over there at all, just that pink pop up. And as you can see, I'm getting liners all the time on every rod. Uh, so they are moving in and out. So yeah, it's good news to see. Uh, and this is the first session we've had where they've been this active over us. Uh, I mean, you see the odd few now and again, but never like this. I mean, they're coming out every, what, minute. Uh, and they're not the same fish because they're scattered about like, I mean, they could be, but more than likely different fish because the different areas that lay like um, but yeah the activity has gone down since I caught that fish but you expect it to have pushed off a bit to right and a bit out a bit but they're still showing in front of my swim uh, still still in my casting distance uh, sorry I'm just stirring sorry <laughs> I mean uh, it's good news that we've had one already, like, uh, my granddad hasn't had anything yet, uh, but if they do move down in the night, we should pick them up. Uh, it's looking good for us, though, uh, at the minute, but it's weird with this, like, sometimes it can be no in front of you and you get a run, and sometimes it can all be showing at the other end at the lake, and all of them are getting runs and you aren't, so, uh, yeah, it's weird. Well, dinner will be served soon. I'm going to have this, a beer, and then I'm going to chillax. Watch a bit of Bear Grylls. <laughs> Hopefully, tonight, I'm, one of them rods may, may pick up a beast. And like I said, they're still showing. I've just seen one show just over that spot, uh, just over there. So yeah, it's quite clear they are still showing, and uh, I think this curry's nearly ready anyway, so uh, I'm going to get off and scoff this. So uh, yeah, I'll either see you in the morning, hopefully through the night, with a fish. So yeah, brief you later on. Well, good morning guys, the time's 9.01, uh, Thursday morning, uh, did the night, uh, bit weird really because they were, were really showing out towards the rods and uh, I thought I were in for a bean face but nope um, not a sniff through the night a few liners like like I was getting I was getting some really harsh liners on all the rods last night uh, it were lifting the slap line right up tight and then just dropping so yeah uh, put a little bit more bait out with throwing stick uh, recast two rods uh, I'll leave the other one because it's a chod rig so I know that way it'll be tangled uh, it's looking good for a bite though well, I mean, I'll just show you around here as you can see look at now it's nice and overcast uh, but yeah See this pile in the life, boy. Bet he, bet he had some last night. Uh, moving down. There's no one in the right outlet. Someone in the left outlet. And there's my granddad's cousin fishing in the royal box over there. Uh, I don't know if he's had out. So, yeah. Whether we'll get out today is another question, but it is definitely looking good for a bite. Uh, got a few soap baits to put in. That 
pretty soaked in just water, as you can see there. It's that. There's 15 millis left in there that are soaked. Uh, I'll get them in with my the rocket soon. Well guys, no more fish, uh, the time is um, 2.24 and we'll be packing up soon. Uh, my granddad's cousin just been to speak to us and uh, I think he got one 14 pound and he got two tench as well, he's been here two nights. Uh, Excuse me. Like I was saying, no more fish. Uh, they've stopped showing. We seen Bailey had one earlier. Uh, we seen a fish show about an hour before he got one, and uh, we think it were a good thirty. I'm not sure, obviously, because we, we, we didn't catch it. But it were a good lump. We seen it with binoculars. I were scoped in watching fight. Uh, but yeah, that were a good lump. Um, the fish yesterday were all up the right end, as you know, and near the pylon, as you've seen in the video. Um, and that's where I got that 16 2 from. Uh, but yeah, they've pushed out a bit now, and uh, they're not showing like they were yesterday. Yeah, so uh, yeah, they could have followed this wind down to the other end. I don't know. Oh, they could just not be showing. Uh, so yeah. But we'll be packing up soon and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be on the bank, not next week, the week after, when I've got a week holiday. So uh, it should be coming down for two or three nights then. Uh, and hopefully we'll have a new bait. Because uh, this bait that we've got is just not doing anything. Uh, I mean, we were all expecting me to have a three or four fish last night. Because they were all in front of me, I've never seen activity like that. While I've been fishing this lake, uh, didn't have a sniff. Just a, just slept clean through. I was expecting to get woken up in the middle of the night to a screamer, but never came. Uh, I'm not complaining, like, but uh, that's one fish in a full year. Because I had one last May, 26, six, and then I've just had this one, 16, two. So we're not doing that well, uh, so we're giving it a change on bait because I think that they're all on this bay that everyone's putting in, or a few of the lads are putting in anyway. And uh, yeah, so we'll get on that, or a new bait, 
and uh, see if we can win Gull's Mount. Uh, that's two fish I've had now out of here and they've both come to bright pop-ups. Yeah, they have been the flavour of the bait, but... Mm, it does bump your confidence when I haven't had a run on a boilie, yeah, a bottom bait boilie, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Bit of a rethink is required. But still looking good for a bite, I'll just spin you around. As you can see, still looking good for a bite, still nice and overcast. Uh, there's still the bailiff in that swim, in life, boy. Left out, but still free, and someone in right. Sorry, someone in the left out, look, no one in the right. <laughs> uh, and my granddad's cousin's gone from Royal Box. Like I said, he got one last night at 14 summit. My granddad still hasn't had anything. So it's about time he blanked anyway, isn't it? <laughs> now what wind? Hmm. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop wobbling on. And uh, if you don't see me again, uh, hopefully you'll see me in the next episode. In two week time. So yeah. I'll keep you posted.